Solutions to Connect to Your Life with Linda G. Robert. Hi everybody, this is Linda G. Robert, your solution lady and your coach with another tip. And this one is related to stress management. You know how you get a lot of information, uh, you might have gone to a conference or perhaps you're in the middle of a situation and you're having to resort to trying to find a solution and perhaps you're getting information from here and there and all of a sudden you go, oh my God, I'm just so overwhelmed. I don't know how to make a decision. You know that, what I'm talking about. So my tip is for you to determine what is important in this situation. And one of the ways that you can determine what's important is by looking at or identifying your values. So, for example, if there's a situation that's related to a family member, for example, and you have conflicting um, values, for example, you might have to work or you might have to, uh, you want to experience something else and you have all of this stuff going on at the same time, stop, take a look at what it is that is happening objectively, not subjectively, and ask yourself what's truly important here. What are my values? Right? So my values might be family is important. My values are stability is important. I might value good work, good work ethics, for example. Right? So you want to start identifying your values now we have different values so you want to start thinking of what is really important in this particular situation and identify the values that this current situation is is engaging you in considering and I'll give you an example I've recently went to a conference and it was great it was a lot of great information for me but at the same time there was a family situation that happened. Now, of course, I had to deal with this family situation as best as I could. I couldn't at that time travel back, uh, find a flight, travel back to deal with it because it was something that I could manage over the telephone. So I managed it. But then, you know, other things happened. And now the situation is a little bit different than the other time. And I'm having to think of what's really important here what values are important maybe my self-care is a value that's important as well as family values are important so when it comes to managing stress but also in this particular case having to care for someone you have to make a balance between what's truly important based on your values and so, of course, my values aren't your values. Everybody has different values, which is why oftentimes family members have conflicts. Because, you know, when you have conflicts, and you're trying to manage different situations. Oftentimes, it's because there's conflicting values. So, at some point, it's helpful to have a conversation with your family member or with your spouse or whoever might be involved in the situation so that you can truly understand the reason behind the conflict and usually it's a conflicting value and so coming to an understanding of how would be the best way to manage this situation is actually looking at how can we both be satisfied of course then it's becoming possibly a compromise. So the tip is to start identifying what your values are. Recognize you have values. What are they? And how do those values actually play into a situation or play into making a decision when you're overwhelmed with a lot of information? So there you go. That's your tip for the day. Thank you so much for listening to me. My name is Linda G. Robert. I'm your solution lady and your coach. And for more information on my services, please visit me at www.lindagrobert.com. Have a great day now. Bye-bye.